This is a segment we call, What is That? Where we answer your home gardening and home horticulture questions. So today I got an email from Sue asking, what are those black and orange insects running all over my patio? Well, Sue, those are the bordered plant bugs and I just happened to go outside and find a few. So let me show you what we got. So here we have the bordered plant bug. As the uh, name implies, it's got this little orange pattern that goes around the outside of its body. It also has this little black diamond-shaped pattern on its rear end. So this time of the year, we often see bordered plant bugs, the adults, uh, coming out of winter hiding. They've been uh, basically stowing away all winter and uh, temperatures are starting to warm up and we often see them during the warmer part of the day scurrying across uh, concrete uh, sidewalks, um, mulched beds, uh, anywhere where it's basically warm. We also often see this time of the year the adults mating and so here we have uh, two adults that are uh, hooked up uh, rear to rear and uh, soon the females will be laying their eggs. Uh, once those eggs hatch you'll see all sorts of little black shiny metallic uh, bugs running around on many of your uh, plants. Now these little shiny bugs will have a little red dot on them and that's a really good way to uh, identify these early stages of the uh, plant, uh, bordered plant bugs. The bordered plant bug is classified as a true bug meaning it has a sucking mouth part. So unlike other bugs in the garden that have chewing mouth parts where they actually chew on the leaves and chew on fruits and can cause severe damage, these guys basically have a little needle-like tongue that they pierce into plant tissues and then suck out the plant nutrients. And so in many cases, you know, a lot of plants can handle a lot of damage from these sucking insects without causing a whole lot of harm. Uh, so in many cases, we don't actually recommend treating for the bordered plant bug. However, uh, you gotta watch them because they also love not only to feed on leaves, but they love to feed on fruits. So if you have fruits in your landscape or in your garden, things like strawberries, blueberries, or many even tree crops like apples or peaches, you're gonna to wanna to keep a close eye on these guys because they can cause a lot of damage on the actual fruits themselves, causing scarring, puckering on the fruits. So um, in terms of control, you know, in generally, um, don't really warrant insecticide treatments. Uh, you know, these are pretty fairly easy bugs to control usually this time of the year uh, as the adults are starting to mate i'll simply go around the yard with a container and scoop them up uh, and then dispose of them you can also just walk around and stomp on them if you have a question for us send us an email at help what is that at gmail.com follow us on twitter at hashtag what is that and facebook and our website see you next time